Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel. And of course, uh, I get a lot of questions, requests, and all of that. Uh, once again, I will start by saying that I do not share any links of anything here. This is not a place for that. Um, but for those that are asking questions about, uh, first of all, the TPM 2.0 uh, compatibility, the thing is, um, you can actually change a file on the install that makes it work with uh, devices that don't have the uh, TPM 2.0 chip. Um, I'm not sure if that will be an absolute requirement of the real install, because since this is a leak, it's possible that for internal purposes of testing, they require it. But maybe it's not going to be that requirement, absolutely. But if it is, it does take out a lot of older PCs from the possibility of running it. Yeah, there's that tweak, but we got to stay real here. The thing is, the majority of people watching this channel have no idea how to dabble and download a file and replace a file on the install media and so on when they install and even installing itself. So that's that's where I'm actually focusing because a lot of you are like, well, you know, you just do this. Yeah, I, yeah, I know a lot of you are capable of that, but a lot of you are not and the majority are not actually. And that's where we have to focus. That's what we got to think about. So if that TPM 2.0 requirement is absolute and the uh, bits that are going to come out officially, yeah, it's taking a lot of computers off of the possibility of installing uh, for most people because of, you know, that they don't have that knowledge to, to tweak files and, and even don't desire to tweak files. Once again, I want to stress out, a lot of people are like, so Windows 10 is dead. No, it's not. And it's going to continue to work until 2025. For those saying 21H2 is this, it's not. 21H2 is a different thing. It's coming to Windows 10. There is, everybody uh, knows that, that 21H2 is an update. It's going to be a small update. There's pretty much uh, a lot of people saying, well, you know what? The, the big feature updates that Windows 10 was having as Windows as a service uh, those days might actually be over. It might be we'll get some cumulative updates from time to time to um, you know update the system a little, but Windows 10 might not receive as many updates and major updates as it did before. Those that are asking me, should I install this? The simple answer is if you're asking yourself that question, that means you shouldn't be installing this. It's as simple as that. You don't no, if you should install it, that's because you already answered the question. No, don't install it. And don't go there. You know, that's the reason we have the channel here. I went there to show you and I went there to test it and give you opinions of what I think about it. Um, and by the way, I will have a separate video later today with um, my personal feel and what I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to say about it. Um, that I think a lot of you want to know. So, what do you think? Uh, so, no, you know what? Don't don't do that. Uh, especially, you know, uh, getting downloading stuff from weird sites that you don't know where they come from, and not just that. If you don't know where to go to get it and get the good version or bits from it, remember, there's a lot of hackers out there are just waiting to modify this to actually send out a bad version that has, you know, viruses and malware and all sorts of bad things in it. So don't go there. Okay? I do not recommend it. Just, you know, wait until it's released. Now, when will this be released? This fall probably. This is probably very close to what is the finished product, by the way. A lot of you are saying, "Well, no, no, this is going to be so different when it's come you shown next week and so on." Most of us don't believe that. Most of us think that this is pretty much the uh, very close to be finished bits that are going to be tested in insider rings. Uh, those that want to have it and feel like they want to be testing it in insiders, join the insider program. That that will probably give you this before everybody. You'll be able to test it out. For the others, uh, you just wait. You know, this it's this is going to be tweaked. The bug fixes are going to go in. And eventually, uh, it's going to be there for everybody uh, in the fall. No, you don't have to go here. Windows 10 will still be a thing. 
and how is it going to be distributed? Uh, some people are saying, well, this is going to be in Windows Update, or I'm not sure it will be in Windows Update because it, since it's a brand new version of Windows, it might actually not show up in Windows Update, but be something that you go download directly from Microsoft's website instead and have an install from there. Um, so I don't know. It could, it could not, but it's going to be an optional update if it's in the Windows Update, that's for sure. But because Windows 10 is a thing that continues to work, I think this is not going to show up in the Windows Update. It's probably going to show up as its own Windows that you can download from the web and upgrade to. As for the questions about performance, it seems to be very fast. Honestly, I've been playing around and there's, of course, there's a lot of animations in here. Um, and the windows, the way that they open and all of that seems to be good, seems to be going at a, a good pace. I've had some, you know, really nice um, performance out of it. No bugs at all, personally. But um, it seems to be fast and everything. A lot of us are, a lot of you actually are asking about the version of DirectX for the gaming capabilities. Uh, well, this probably is still coming with DirectX 12, which is the latest version. Um, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to check out more details about that and whatever for gaming is gonna happen in the future or near future. Um, as for the rest, um, you know what? Don't install this. Wait, and eventually it'll be there. No rush. Okay, guys? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.